White frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the worlds one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's gotta be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it.
The gentleman will follow. They let in rabble, and now decent folk are afraid to leave their homes. Report, Fort Kite Squad. The Funsberg Division as a whole. Deserters. Does General Voorhis know? He's at the briefing. They're not letting anyone in. Nonsense. Get in there and report to him at once. Danians will be here shortly. The team is sure Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Plenty of work for witchers after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? She regretted not getting a chance to say goodbye. Did she tell you this? Really? Didn't have to. She wanted to make peace. I know that. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Need a hand with your wagon? Uh, no. It's not exactly ours. More a captured vehicle. Booty, you might say. Folk must have abandoned it in their rush. To where, I don't know. Be a shame for the Reds to claim it. Loot it. Change is coming. Grown accustomed, we have. With the Black Ones gone, witch hunters will move in. Yet life will roll on. We've to seize the day. True that. So, let's get to work before night creeps up on us. Time I was on my way. Good luck to you. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nelf Guardians. You take care now.
Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ord. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, had my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm -hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a striggers prowl in the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher.
Let's try it out then. Radovid had many faults. He was cruel, impetuous, and pathologically ambitious. But he was a tactical genius. That's undeniable. Commanding forces far outnumbered by his foes, he handily defeated the invader from the south. The Redanian Eagle spread its wings, taking all the north, including Novigrad and Neath. With victory in the war against Nilfgaard secured, Radovid proceeded to complete his witch hunt. As they had in Novigrad, pyres burned into Meria and Edern, lands now liberated by the Redanian monarch. In the drive for moral renewal, simple herbalist pellers, healers, and non-humans, all supposed heretics, were murdered in droves. For many, freedom beneath Radovid's scepter proved more tragic than servitude to another. As long as his armies went from one victory to the next, Emir's subjects remained boundlessly obedient. When a string of humiliating defeats proved Var Emri's fallible, the opposition, as far as secret, attacked. The subjects of the Emperor who had danced on the graves of his foes laid him to rest in a tomb of his own. Many islanders believed Svanriga would be no more than his ambitious mother's puppet. The young king proved them wrong, ignoring her whims and ruling with an iron hand all his own. Tired of the Jarls and their endless feuds, he resolved to turn the Isles into an absolute monarchy, modeled after those of the continent. What he resolved, he achieved, but only by shedding his countrymen's blood. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. Hard as it may be to believe, Geralt planted roots in faraway Kovir. He and Triss settled down, their home warm and smelling of freshly baked cakes. Guests were always welcome, no matter the day or the hour. The witcher would take jobs at times more from habit than need, for Triss earned a true fortune as the mage advisor to Kovir's king. 